Girls, thanks for coming forward. What do you think about church today? It's a little bit different from normal, isn't it? Yeah. We get to do a lot of um, moving around and dressing up and singing songs and hearing stories. It kind of reminds me, any of you ever watch TV shows that are that way? My favorite TV shows growing up, I remember one that was called Blue's Clues. They still have that one? Anyone remember Blue's Clues? Yeah, that was, that was a neat one because you didn't just watch it. You, you guys know a, t- a TV show where instead of just watching it, every once in a while they'll stop and they'll ask you a question. They'll say, hey, what do you think about this? And then you got to like shout back at the TV, right? You got to say, oh, I think that that's the letter A. Something like that. You know what kind of show I'm talking about? I always kind of like those shows. Yeah. This is a little bit like that today, isn't it? Except it's even better because we, you never notice when you shout at the TV, there's nobody that can hear you. Yeah, you just hear yourself. Whereas here, right, when we shout things like, Hosanna, that means save us. Or praise the Lord, right? Then we're actually kind of everyone gets to hear that and be part of it. Adults have those shows too, by the way, right? Everyone like Jeopardy? Yeah, you get to participate, right? And that's a good thing. You can even go and be part of those shows. Did you know that? Some shows you can go and like the price is right, right? You can be part of the TV show. And that's kind of like how it is when we come to church. Except church is different from any show. It's actually a celebration. It's a party. And each of us has a piece to play. So I want to talk about the part that we're playing this morning. Did you all hear the story about Jesus this morning? It's kind of a long one, wasn't it? Usually we don't read for that long. But this is the beginning of Holy Week, when we remember what Jesus did to save us and to save the whole world. He went and, do you think he did some, what, did did he beat some people? Is that how he saved us? No. He got beaten, didn't he? Yeah, he died for us on the cross. And this was how he saved us and saved the world. So on Palm Sunday, the first Palm Sunday, all the crowds were following Jesus. They were waving palm branches just like we did this morning. Except, did they see what was at the front of the line? Did you guys see what was at the front of the line this morning? Who was leading us all? Do you remember who it was? It was him. Yeah, over there. You see him right there with the long hair? That's TJ. He's dressed up in the white robe. He's got the long hair. And do you remember what he was carrying? Not the, well, he carried a book out here. That's right. What was he carrying before when we went around the church? When he came in, a big palm branch? No, that was these guys carrying the big palm branch. And you guys probably had palm branches, right? Yeah, what was TJ carrying? That thing. Yeah, the cross. That's what that is under there. It's the cross. And it's all veiled because on Palm Sunday, did people know that they were following the cross? They didn't. They thought they were following Jesus. They thought Jesus was going to go and beat some people, right? And that's how they thought that they were going to get saved. But boys and girls, guess what? We know better, don't we? Yeah, we know that the way that we're saved is by following Jesus who lays down his life for the world. And he leads us to do the same thing. He followed the cross. He went willingly to get beaten and to suffer and to die. And he leads us so that we can do the same thing, not for no reason, but so that we can love all the people that God's given us. Turns out you don't actually love people by beating them. Did you know that? Yeah, some people don't know that. Sometimes we have to be reminded of that, right? When when we think that the best thing would be for us to win, but actually the best thing is for who to win. The best thing is for who to win. Jesus. Jesus, not just the other person. We don't want them to win either. (laughs) Yeah, we want Jesus to win. Yeah, when Jesus wins, then the other person and us learn to love one another and give our lives. And then we find out what God's will really is. So this morning, when we all play the part of Palm Sunday and we follow Jesus, we knew better, didn't we? We know we're not going to beat people. We know that we're following him to lay down our lives in love for the world so that Jesus can be the king, the one who wins. And that's what we'll find out on Easter Sunday. That when we lay down our lives after Jesus, God raises us up to new life, just like he raised up Jesus from the dead. And because of the cross, that's the life that we live too, an eternal life. Boys and girls, thanks for coming forward. It's so good to be able to go over these things because this is what we need to hear every year at this time and every Sunday. We need to know the way to life. And praise God for bringing us that life in Jesus Christ our Lord. 
You can go back to your seats. We will continue not with the um, confession of faith, since we already did that with our new members. Uh, we'll continue with the hymn.